104.7 The Cave, Mike, the intern on a video call this morning with my good friend, Patrick Myers. Uh, you might be looking at this video going, am I, wait a minute, is, is Mike talking to Freddie Mercury? Well, you would be very close because Patrick, I was actually like, whoa, oh my goodness gracious. I feel like I'm talking to Freddie right now. Patrick fronts the uh, Killer Queen, Queen tribute, which is coming into town at the Gloys Theater on July 14th. And Patrick, you have been doing this thing for a little bit, haven't you? It's been a it's been a while now. Yeah, we we managed to play all over the world. Um, we visited some of the same arenas that Queen played in uh, wow. back in the day uh, and sold them out. Um, so it's been extraordinary, really. Um, so I believe you started this project in the '90s. Is that correct? Some yeah. sometime in that area. We were one of the uh, very first tributes to uh, ever um, sort of start, really. Um, so. Um, it's uh, it's uh, at, at the time we thought maybe you know we'd do this as some great roller coaster ride you know um, and it would be over before we knew it um, but we'd have felt like you know we'd have made our you know uh, our, our statement about Queen and and, and felt because we missed out on seeing Queen live everyone in the mm. original band because we, we were just a bit too young me too and uh, yeah and um, so when the news came that Freddie had passed. We were kind of left reeling on so many different levels, um, just horrified of what he'd gone through and selfishly kind of thinking, well, we don't get to see a concert. You know, it's amazing what you think when someone's, someone's died like that. You know, you start, yeah. the, you know, you don't, you, you have so many different thoughts at the same time. We thought we wanted to see a Queen concert. So we thought, well, if we, and the, 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 there was no replacing Freddie um, uh, at, at that time, you know, uh, they weren't uh, considering that. They were, they, they were all in, the whole world was in shock, really. So we thought we'd just do our own tribute. Um, we thought we'd do our own show and we'd get the costumes and try and look exactly like them and um, and try and uh, sound as closely as we uh, as close as we could. And we'll see how it goes, you know, and, and, and maybe m maybe, you know, this this would become something and it became something magical. It became something big um, before we even knew it, it. We were we were playing the West End, um, the first ever tribute band to play the West End uh, for anybody uh, back in uh, 95. And um, and then started getting offers from all over the world. And as I said, you know, we started playing the same arenas that Queen played, which was extraordinary. You know, it's got to be something. Uh, as a musician myself, and I've done yeah. tributes like this, it it's so much fun to kind of be in that because as a musician, you understand that music is its own language, and when you play with mm. other musicians, you're speaking your own language. When you yeah. get to get into that tribute zone, it's almost as if you're getting to be a part of that conversation that, you know, Freddie mm. and Brian and Roger yeah. and all those guys got to have, but you're now doing that. So you, we all as fans of Queen, mm. we want to continue to see that music. And obviously, uh, Brian and Roger and Adam Lambert, they do tour, which yeah. is good, but which is amazing. Um, <laughs> but, but that's few and far between. And for guys like you and me or around here, especially if we want want to see that we got to drive to denver or we got to go to dallas so we're looking at a 10 plus hour drive to do it right and you got the right the thing right here in our own backyard you know which is a really cool thing i'm going to ask you does your guitar player use a red special model oh yeah yeah he uses a red special and he uses a sixpence as well uh, awesome. to play with yeah so uh we get all those uh those days details right i would say though if you have to drive uh to see a show um it's a, a 10 hour drive is definitely worth it to see queen and adam lambert because their show is absolutely phenomenal um as, aside from adam's extraordinary vocals but the visual and the, the the set and the aesthetic of the whole thing and the journey you go on with that band uh, is extraordinary. So yeah, it's worth the drive. But yes, we 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 deliver locally, uh, which so. is which is awesome because <laughs> I mean I've watched you guys perform and and it's it takes there are there are vocalists that you look at you know Freddie Freddie being one of them, uh, yeah. you know um, maybe like a Bon Scott kind of Brian Johnson type feel guys that go after trying to pay tribute to that stuff. That's got to be scary because. <laughs> that the power that freddie has as a vocalist yeah. is like it's mind-blowing and then you're like okay you know what i'm gonna do the same thing and i think what <laughs> i've nice. what i've seen you pull off it it it's it like i said close your go watch killer cream when they come to town in july and close your eyes you're gonna be blown away oh thank you well it's a, it's a it's it's a big deal um freddie was unique queen are unique really um I think you know if we'd have known uh, how, how ambitious we we didn't know how ambitious we were being when we started. We were just young, and so we thought, "Hey, let's just go for it," you know, which is what I love about being young, you know. Um, and 
And so, yeah, I mean, I mean over the years, uh, we've refined the act and I've worked on my voice and had training from extraordinary vocal coaches. Um, but you need all that because Freddie was uh, fantastic, uh, amazing. Um, and he had, I mean, aside from the extraordinary amounts of talent he had, he had a way of connecting with an audience and transmitting the power of music and losing himself in the music. Um, you know, uh, people ask me, you know, oh, how do you do the moves? You know, what, you know, and uh, when, when I'm doing the thing, because it's, it's, it's all about the movement as well as, you know, singing. And I always say the same thing, which is that you, you, you lose yourself in the music, you listen to the music, you be inside the music. So I completely respect what you were saying uh, a few moments ago about uh, feeling like you joined the conversation. Um, you feel like you're living inside the songs uh, when you're on stage. And you, you you have a relationship with the songs that that you you want to you know share with the audience uh, and break those songs open and apart and then give them to the audience and let them become a conversation part of the conversation too. So the audience are a big part of that conversation. So for us, it's it's a pleasure. Uh, it's a pleasure to be involved in that and and to be so sort of to live inside these songs and and feel them and get the, to sing them all over the world. And it's a it's a great, great, great show. Again, that's happening July 14th here at the Glorious Theater. Tickets on sale now. Killer Queen. Patrick, thank you so much for your time this morning. We're looking hey. forward to seeing you come to Springfield. It's been a pleasure.